Hello everybody, today I'm bringing you voting video number 58. We're going to be looking at Oscar Mayer. I know a lot of you are already aware of this one, but I wanted to add this to the voting series. So we're going to have number 58 today. A link down below to the first 57 voting videos will be down in the more info section. So I just wanted to say real quick, you know, if you're new to all this, it gets easier as time goes on. I have no idea where we're headed with this. There could be a lot more things that we start noticing. But the initial shock can be overwhelming for people, so please try and stay grounded. And, you know, just know there's a lot of us going through this. You're not alone. And it's, it's a natural thing, in my opinion. Uh, this has to do with what's happening on the planet, and I think it's a natural thing. It could possibly be some nefarious thing. It could be CERN. What they're doing over there with that 17-mile tunnel, slamming subatomic particles together at the speed of light. Uh, they could be, you know, creating little vortices and opening up into other dimensions and try and collapse uh, realities on one another. That could all be happening. I feel it's just as a natural phenomenon, but that's my opinion. And I'll be doing more videos on the future about the whole effect. But today we're just covering Oscar Mayer, so... If you remember Oscar Mayer, which this looks like, go ahead and thumb this video down. If you remember Oscar Mayer, oops. Yeah, that's another one. <laughs> Mountain Dew versus Mountain Dew. Maybe we'll talk about that in a future video. But anyway, we're doing Oscar Mayer. This is the way that I remember it. Thumb this video up if you remember Oscar Mayer with the E. And if you remember the A, thumb the video down. So when I think about the song, I seem to want to say M-A-Y-E-R. My baloney has a first name. It's O-S-C-A-R. My baloney has a second name. It's M. I'm like, either kind of like right on the edge. It's M-A-Y-E-R, M-E-Y-E-R. So that's what bothers me about this. Sometimes I have dual memories on this stuff, but that looks correct. When I see that, it just, I just look at it and it's like, okay, yeah, Oscar Mayer. The Oscar Mayer I've known my whole life. I look at this and I see Oscar Mayer. So the, the, the A looks wrong here. So we're going to look at some newspaper articles. Uh, we have Oscar Mayer brand, the way I remember it. 1951, Prescott Evening Courier. And... 39 cents. All right. Good price on that. Uh, here on craftrecipes.com, they have Oscar Mayer, the way I remember the spelling. And they have a whole list of items here. Everything's M-E-Y-E-R. Everything on Craft's website, M-E-Y-E-R. Now, in this reality, it's always been M-A-Y-E-R. But I'm showing you... What people remember. See, this guy just wrote this article. It's dated today, this morning at 8.30. This man died a week ago. I just, you know, happened to notice this in my research. Who wrote the Oscar Mayer jingle. He wrote the jingle, and this man here on this radio station posted this, and he put M-E-Y-E-R. That's his memory. So that's all this is. This isn't proof that anything's going on. I'm not proving anything by showing you this. I'm just showing you what's in people's memory. This M-E-Y-E-R is how he remembers Oscar Mayer. We have some other old newspaper, 2003, not too old. I'm making that, let's see. Here it is. Oh, I'd love to... Oh, I'd love to be an Oscar Mayer. I'll sing another song. Oh, I love to be an Oscar Mayer, M-E-Y-E-R wiener. That is what I truly love to be. Because if I were an Oscar Mayer wiener, I'd contain pig snouts and a lot of other unpleasant things that you really don't want to know about. <laughs> okay, so my memory of jingle lyrics is less than perfect. But anyway... I just showing you this because of the M E Y E R person who wrote this newspaper article. And here at uh, Target, dollar forty nine for some Oscar Mayer wieners. 
Oscar, M-E-Y-E-R, whoever posted this. And right in their face, it says M-A-Y-E-R, right on the packaging. Um, here we have another Oscar Meyer. Go away. How many pigs did you kill today? Oscar Meyer here. M-E-Y-E-R, so the memory of this person, Oscar Meyer Pork Products. And 2001, oh, I'd like to be an Oscar M-E-Y-E-R wiener. And here in 1998, small Coke with the purchase of Oscar M-E-Y-E-R hot dog. Here in this newspaper here. And I'll leave you with this, 1976, Oscar, M-E-Y-E-R. So there's a lot of reality residue for Oscar Meyer. Go ahead and thumb this up if you remember M-E-Y-E-R like I do. If you remember M-A-Y-E-R like we have here, go ahead and thumb this video down. No, we're not covering Mountain Dew. So there it is. That looks familiar to me. Uh, go ahead and vote on this one. I'll talk to everybody soon. This is just an incredible thing, and I feel comfort in listening to Dolores Cannon. I keep saying that. If you haven't listened to Dolores Cannon, you need to listen to what she's saying. She spoke to people's unconscious mind at a very deep level that a lot of psych, um, hypnotists and, and stuff don't want to go to that low level where they say weird things happen. Well, she said that's where you get to the truth. And that's where she was talking to these different entities that would come through different unrelated people all around the world. It would be a continuing conversation she would be having. So very bizarre and strange. I feel good. If you want to find something comforting, I think this feels comforting to listen to Dolores speak. She's been dead now a couple years. But I'm so glad all that information is online. We can listen to a lot of her lectures. I feel good listening because I've been blown away by this whole thing. I've been totally mind blown. This has been so hard to difficult, so hard and difficult to deal with. Some family and friends, they don't understand it. People who aren't noticing anything different, they cannot relate. You have to find people who are going through this because it's just so difficult and mind blowing and crazy to deal with. And to try and explain it to people, or for people to say, why are you still on that Mandela effect thing, man? Just let it go. They don't understand. You have your whole reality changing around you. You can't just ignore that. It's, it's, it's just such a bizarre, crazy, mind-blowing thing to deal with. You can't just let it go. That's why I turned my whole channel into basically a Mandela effect channel. I was covering gold and silver and finances for six years. And I've only done one or two videos on that in the past six months. This has been so life-changing for me. A bunch of people don't understand that. I'm sorry. It is what it is, and this is a real phenomenon, and this is just so incredible. So it's not stopping. I think we're just going to continue to move along with this. Sorry, I'm continuing to ramble here. But I just a few things on my mind that I wanted to get out. So take care, everybody. Uh, make the create, make, go create the reality that you want. I really do believe that we're creating our own realities and we each experience our own reality. And I think we're constantly shifting in and out of realities. Uh, I've heard up to a billion times a second. <laughs> so we can't even fathom that, but there's, you know, one thing that I'd really have a hard time with, I mean, I like to think about it, but it's just, it's too hard to even imagine every time we make a decision like if i decide to cut this video off now versus another minute from now if i keep talking another minute the me who stops the video right now goes on with my life and the me who keeps talking for another minute will go on with his life and they'll both be happening at the same time and i guess you'll be shifting back and forth between those two different realities i mean every time we make a decision there's two separate realities created and they're on a separate frequency, I guess. And you, you know, there's like multiple realities and you could just create whatever you want. But, you know, without understanding that, we just go along with the ego and, you know, some people are negative thinkers and you just draw that negativity and they don't understand how powerful they are. So 
we're powerful creators, everybody, and I think that's what we're learning through all this. So that's it. I'm out of here. Take care, everyone.